people's opinions of you is none of your business. It doesn't matter what they think or what they say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to need for y'all to stay tuned at the end of this very video right here. So with that being said, folks, let's get right into it. It does not matter what they think or say about you. People is going to have a lot to say about you, especially when you stand out from the crowd. Especially when you got your own saying or doing. Where you want to live your life the way you want to live your life. And people expect you to live your life the way they want you to live. But that's not the answer. But when you disagree with them or decide to go your own lane and do your own thing, best believe me and hear me out good. These people is going to talk about you. Opinions going to be from left and right. But they just mad and pissed off and upset because you're not in the matrix, which means you're not stuck on society. You're not letting society tell you how to live your life or what to do with your life. When people stuck on society, they get intimidated by the ones that stand out. Especially the people that, it, that can expose the truth. Especially people that can expose people in the industry. Those are the type of people that stand out and do not even care. But people like me and you, when we are chosen, chosen by the Most High, we don't care what other people's opinions of us are. I mean, excuse me. We do not care what other people got to say or think about us. That opinion doesn't matter. But guess what? Opinions are like an a-hole. Everybody got to have one. And everybody tied to opinion, we get it, but at the same time, we do not let that opinion be stuck on us. They can say whatever they want about you, but let me tell you something. Last time I checked, who wake you up in the morning? And last time I checked, who put food on your table? Yeah, you. Now back to the other question. Who wake you up every morning? Yeah, God wake you up. Who put food in your house? You do. Who put clothes on your back? Who pay your doggone bills? You do. So why do you need to be stuck or the title of their opinion anyway? They don't pay your bills. They don't help you take care of your children if you got any children. Huh? These people opinions of you does not even matter, folks. Stop worrying about what other people got to think or say about you. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be one knucklehead, two knucklehead, or whatever, whatever. It's not going to like you. Stop trying to be accepted about today's society. Everybody is not going to like you. You could be the most sweetest, calmest person ever. And somebody out there with a better mindset or a better jealous heart is not going to like you. Oh, you too happy. She's too happy. He too happy. It's always going to be one idiot out there. So freaking what? Let them be entitled to their little funky opinion. Because as long as God waking you up, blessing you, blessing your children, if you got any kids, that is. If you're a single parent or not, or you don't have any kids, long as you doing what you got to do, long as you getting money, long as you got money in your pocket, and you taking care of your business. Who cares what they got to think? Who cares what they say about you? Who cares what they think about you? This is your life. <laughs> and when you are dead and gone, guess who, guess who going to be in that casket? Exactly. It going to be you only in that casket. Not these people, not your brother, not your sister. It going to be you. Sad reality is, everybody can't go with you. So when it's your time to leave up out of here, guess what? It's going to be you only that's leaving this world. Ain't nobody coming, ain't nobody going with you. Simple fact is that. And it don't get any real than that. But some of y'all out here be, be focused on the haters. About what they got to say about you and all. These haters did not create you. The Most High had created you. 
and you sitting there scratching yourself out, worrying about what this person got to say about you. The people that are doing the most talking, they ain't got their own stuff together. They flexing on social media, act like they got it going on. But when they see another brother, another sister winning, that's when that hate is going to come out. And don't you know, when people let their emotions spill all over the place, they are exposing themselves. So you ain't even got to do that. These people is going to fall right in their little hole that they had planned out for you and fall in their doggone selves. You ain't got to do a doggone thing. The trap is always to fix. You got to let these people do so much talking that they're going to talk themselves out of the headache. Every time they mention you, they're going to end up getting a headache because guess what? You're not worrying about what people got to say about you or what they think about you. Because at the end of the day, people is going to yap, 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 yap. Whether you're doing good or bad, guess what? They're going to talk. So let them haters talk. Who cares what they got to think or say about you? They is not paying your bills. They not waking you up in the morning. Are they watching your back in the shower? Nope, because guess what? That is your job to do that. So why are you sitting up here so scratched out worrying about, oh, they don't like me. Oh, if I do that, they not. Man, who cares? Who gives a crap? Today's society want everybody to be a follower. But guess what? Real people like me and you, we stand out. We don't care about what society thinks. Society ain't nothing but the matrix. That's why so many people walk around here Look like brainless zombies. Ooh. Then you ask them, and your frequency be high. Hey, hey man, what's up? How you doing? That, that, that. You try to get them at that day. Hey, how you doing? Uh, man, get that weak mess up, up out of here. Their energy is low right here. Your energy way up here. And when they see your energy so high, they get pissed off at that. Then they want to get all, <laughs> they want to get all in their emotions. You see that brother right there? He's so happy. What he's so happy about? They just mad because they not in the same shoes as you in. They just mad because they are not happy. They just mad because their spirit is not. Their spirit is not bright for as yours. Their spirit is full of darkness. These people out here on drugs, alcohol, you name it. But when they see you living a clean, fresh, stress-free life, drama-free life, that is, it's a problem. Because today's society had brainwashed a lot of stupidity people. But when you're doing good or doing 10 times better, yap, 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 yap. People's opinions are going to be spilling all over the place. But, the, but have you noticed, when people talk bad about you, Guess what? They wish they could be just like you. They wish they had the same mindset as you. They wish that they was that mentally strong just like you. But deep down inside, they feel bad for their own selves because they can't do what you do. But let me tell y'all this, it is not easy. But we just make it look easy. But when they try to do it, they flop. Everybody can't do what everybody do. That's why you got a lot of people talking about you, chosen ones. They want to be just like you. All this stuff you had overcame, guess what? They would have folded like a little piece of paper. They would have, they would have folded. But you, you like a brick. You like a rock. You too, you too tough for them. You unbreakable. And when they try to break you, they break themselves. So all these little opinions, all these little lies, they're telling up on you. It's end up breaking them own selves. These people try to hurt your feelings. But guess what? They are hurting their own feelings. A lot of people can judge you all they want to. But guess what? Only God can judge you. And like I said, everybody got a title to their little opinion. Whatever they want to think or say about you. But guess what? Let me tell you something. Long as you happy. And long as you live in your life. Who can care less what they got to think or say? Every day is going to be somebody talking about you. Whether it was good or bad. 
somebody could be talking bad about you or good. So what? Live your life. That's the way life is. Live your life. What do you think Jesus had to go through? Look what Jesus had to go through. Jesus had a whole lot of enemies. So what makes you think you ain't going to have no enemies? When you stand on something and you be prepared to be great, best believe me, you're going to have a lot of haters, a lot of enemies. But at the same time, do you care? No, you shouldn't care. You shouldn't give a damn. You should be sitting up here scratched out why people don't like you. That's the day society. That's the day we're living in. People hate no other people for no apparent reason. All because they out there putting in the work. They out there do what they got to do. They got to feed their family. Put clothes on their kids' back. They finna open up a business. Whatever they plan on got going on, they putting in the work. But your haters, your enemies, these people opinions about you. What they doing with their life? I wait. Exactly. Nothing. They ain't doing nothing with their life. But some of y'all sitting up here worrying and scratched out why people don't like you. Why you got your friends stabbing you in your back. Uh, wake up. They was your friends in high school. But now high school is over. It's time for reality now. Everybody ain't gonna be friends with you forever, man. That's straight 100 facts right there. Everybody that was your friend back then, let me tell you something. You be lucky they still your friend. But if they not, welcome to the weird world. Even your so-called friends you thought they was your friend back in the day. They gonna be the ones that be talking bad about you. And you gonna be, yeah, trust me, it gonna hurt. You could be like, damn, I thought you were my friend. Uh, news flash. If a so-called friend end up falling out with you, they was really never your friend from the beginning with. Everybody ain't your friend, folks. All these people that doing these little opinions about you, speaking ill towards you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They don't know what you have been through. They don't know what you have to suffer. These people don't even know you're going through suicidal thoughts or depression. But they, they talking. But once again, they don't know you. You could be going through the biggest storm ever. And guess what? You still out here walking around with your head up. But when you see them, hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. Walk around with their head down. Uh. But that that's not you, though. You still walk around here with high spirits. You could be going through the most deepest depression, the baddest breakup, betrayal. You lost a loved one. Anything. You walk around here with your head up. I'm telling y'all, we. it's not easy for us, but we make it look easy. That's why a lot of people be upset with us. All the dirt they throw on our name. All the little opinions they got about us. Guess what? We overcome that bull crap. Because when they put dirt on us, guess what? We grow. That's like the flowers that we are. Ta-da! We flowers. We outgrow the dirt. So when you throw dirt on us, all your little slander and, and um, opinions about us, guess what? We outgrow that stuff. Because they ain't nothing to us. You ain't going to stop us. They can't stop you. We are chosen. They can't stop us, ladies and gentlemen. But let that be now. <laughs> they were throwing in the tower a whole... Excuse me. They would have had to throw in the tower a long time ago. It's too hard. They talking bad about me. Too many haters. I can't do this. Child, I got to win the tower, child. They getting up on me. Mm, I can't do it. Bro, it's too hard, bro. It ain't never going to take time. People getting up on me and stuff. Talking bad about me. I can't do it no more. It's getting frustrated. F this. Excuses, 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 excuses. Young. But people like me and you. 
he make this thing look easy. Trust me, it's not easy when you're being lied on, slander on. People don't, don't even know you're talking bad about you because you all walk around with a smile on your face. Then when they try to get all in your business and when you don't tell them nothing, oh, it come more lies on top of more lies. French Montana said it even best. When the hate don't work, they start telling lies. So don't be surprised when they start telling lies on you. That's when you know you have officially have made it. That's when you know right there you are doing something right. Because if you're not being lied on, if you're not being talked about, if people don't have these little stupid opinions about you, you ain't doing nothing right. But if you're going through this right now as we speak, you, sir, you, ma'am, you, man, you, shawty, you are doing something right. So don't be surprised when you got friends turn up, turn it on you for no apparent reason. If you're the only friend in the group right now, it's finna open up a business, finna become successful. It's time for you to cut that group off. Obey yet? <coughs> Excuse me. Get up out that group. Get up out that circle. And go out there and create a whole a whole nother circle of friends. As a matter of fact, you don't need friends. You need business partners. People that can be willing to work with you, get money with you. You understand me? Friends, that's back in middle school and high school. Them days over with. Friends, we need business partners right now. You need, fellas, you need a woman that's going to be willing to support your business. You need a king. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> you need a queen, fellas. A real queen that's going to invest in you and believe in you. Ladies, you need a king that is going to support you as well and stick by your side when times is hard. Vice versa, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and when you happy, let me, let me talk to the happy couples out there. When you are a couple and you are happy, they're going to talk bad about you too because you got some better couples out here or single better people out here that's just of other people's marriage or relationships. They're going to have their little opinions about you too. Um... Whoever you are out there, whoever out there that's watching this video, let me tell you something. They're going to be talking bad about you, wishing ear towards you. They're going to be, whew, I'm telling y'all, it's not going to be good. But guess what? You're going to make it look good and you're going to make it look easy as well. So all that hate and all that slander that they are doing right now, you're going to outgrow that. But like I told you, if that was them, they would not be able to handle that. They would have folded like a little piece of paper. They would have folded. So, so to all my happy couples out there, if you got haters that's hating on you, wishing that y'all break up, mm, lick it down. I wish I had a relationship like them. Mm, they need to break up. I can't stand them being happy. That is miserable. Misery loves company, folks. Today's society is so full of is so full of misery. People, it's not even funny. Today's society, and when you get on social media, what do you see? Unhappy people, <coughs> drama, bullcrap. That's all you see. But you, when you get on social media, you don't post all your business. You don't post, oh, I got a new car. I got a new relationship. You don't do all that. You keep your stuff to yourself. But so many people out here, so many people out here, they want some attention. They really, they want some attention out here. But when you keep your stuff to yourself, you walk around here with a smile on your face. Best believe me, they not going to like that and they're going to talk about you. But the best thing I can tell you to do, ladies and gentlemen, kill these people with success. I would say kill them with silence too, but most importantly, kill them with success. Because the more you elevate, guess what? The more they're going to hate and the more they're going to slander you. So just tell the devil, 
Bring it on. Because the lies is not going to stop you. But let me tell you one thing about that truth before I wrap this up. The truth will always outshine the lie. Because the truth is the light. And the lie is the dark. The truth will always overshine the light. Remember that, folks. The truth will always overshine the lie. And one thing about that truth, it will always prevail, ladies and gentlemen. So whoever talking bad about you, lying on you, their little opinions about you, it don't even matter because guess what? The truth one day will come out. And the right people that got some right common sense is going to realize what type of kind-hearted person that you is. And you are a tough son of a gun. And you do not let the pains of others stop you from doing what you want to do or what you love doing. Best believe me. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And your boy will be back with more content. I got to get up out of here. Peace, y'all.